Welcome to Legion Outpost and today we are going to be looking at 3D printing and should you or where do you get started where to begin in 3D printing Legion terrain or any terrain for board games. Uh, terrain is something that we uh, is so valuable and so much part of a tabletop game and so a game like Legion really plays with terrain. Um, it it enhances the game, but not only that, it is crucial to gameplay. Uh, there are other games like Shatterpoint, which it uh, enhances the game, but not as crucial in some ways. Well, I guess it's still crucial. Uh, and even games like Warhammer 40K. Warhammer 40K uses terrain as well, um, but it doesn't interact the same way as Legion does, and Legion really, uh, terrain is a huge part of it. And so I know when I started playing Legion um, back six years ago when it first came out and even before I started playing Legion I was into making terrain. I made trains for my Warhammer Quest, I rebuilt all the boards, I, I made terrain for people who wanted castles and different things and I hand scratch made a ton of it for a lot of years. Um, but the thing is one of the things I started I realized hey I want to 3D print some things and the first thing I 3D printed was a boat for my Warhammer Quest and then I even made things from molds and I made things from casting and, and 3D printing at first seemed really hard. It was hard for me to catch on to. I was, I'm old, so that was part of it. Um, but also it seemed hard because there was a learning curve to get there, getting the technology uh, to work. And so when I first started 3D printing, I went and bought a kit. And it probably was a mistake because I built this 3D printer and it was a, one of those kits that were made out of um, kind of a hard plasticky um, fiberglassy type stuff. And, I, and the reality is it worked. It did it. I ended up getting two of them and I got it working. But um, very quickly I learned that it wasn't easy and I quit. 3D printing for about a year. Now, if you're getting into 3D printing, the first thing you got to do is say, hey, where do I want to get into? And first of all, it's a lot easier now than it was back then. And I don't recommend getting a kit program unless you really like the hobby of 3D printing, which is a hobby on its own. And it can be fascinating and enjoy, but if you're in it just to make terrain, then you should look for a 3D printer that's going to be easy to start with. Now, my problem was when I first got into it, I didn't know anything about the plastics. I didn't know I started doing ABS. ABS was really hard. So I stopped for about a year, year and a half. And then um, I said, no, I want to get, when Legion came out, I, this was before Legion. Um, and then when Legion came out, I said, no, I really want to get some really cool Star Wars terrain. And, and you can get terrain almost everywhere. And this, this video series is going to be one of probably three. And I'll go over more of the... Uh, where to get stuff, how to what the cost, and and think about things in the terrain. Today we're going to be talking about the basics, the beginning of 3D printing terrain, and that is really around the 3D printer itself, and why or sh why you should not get one, and what type of one should you get. So, for me at first it was like the kit, and I and I got confused, I got I got all, all overwhelmed, and and I quit, and then I said, okay, I really want good terrain for. Star Wars Legion. So then I started figuring it out, working it out, doing the, figuring out the programming, getting the computer stuff and getting it all lined up and figuring out what it means to get a level bed and, and what it means to, you know, turn it and get paper testing and stuff like that. It, it, it was, it was, it was like a mad science back then. And so I got it working and I got some great train and I found some great train places to print off. And we'll talk about those in another video. Um, but what happened from there is I decided that I wanted a better printer. So I tried different printers and finally found one that I enjoyed. And that was the Ender 3. Now, the Ender 3 um, was something unique in the printing world at the time. And, and uh, so it was actually somewhat user friendly, but still kitty and still cheap. And you can get an Ender 3 for about um, a $179 now. I bought most of mine used for about $150. But the thing is, uh, once I got one, I was like, oh, this is easy to use. I got another one, and then I got another one. And I found that having multiples of the same type was easy to get printing. But the bed size wasn't huge, so then I went and got a CR10, which is a bit bigger printer. Now, so the question is, how much do you want to spend 
on a printer. That's a big part of it. You have to understand the cost of the printer as well as the cost of any SDL files, unless you're just going all free Thingiverse SDL files, which there are lots of good ones, but you will find, I guarantee you, you start that way, you'll be before long getting into buying SDL files because you'll be like, oh, that one looks really good. And to be honest, SDL file buying can be addicting. It can be like an addiction. Oh no, I want, I want that world. I want a Hoff world. I want a Felucia world. I want a whatever. You just, uh, you know, get into different worlds of Armor Legion and you continue to build. And I think the best way to go about um, Star Wars Legion terrain is to have a group of people maybe one or two with 3D printers or, or one with the 3D printer and he prints them and then the other people paint them and they work together or they build the, make it part of your hobby. Make it part of your fun of the team. Don't just do it all on your own and be mad because you provide everything. Instead say, hey guys, we're going to have a trained building day. Today we're going to just, I printed a bunch of paint. Let's all just get together and paint it or something. It, it is important that the guys and the people or the girls, uh, I don't want to be sexist here, the people that are playing the game enjoy the hobby together. It's, it's about building relationships and building people together. Uh, so let's get back to the 3D printer. So is the Ender 3 worth it? Well, at the cost that it is right now, um, it isn't a bad deal. It's $179, but there is a, some frustration with it. It's slower than most printers now. Most printers are getting a lot quicker and, and faster. And, and, but $179 is a great entry level, but, um, it is an entry level and you have to upgrade it. If you don't want to play with hobbies of doing 3d printing, it's probably not a good starter printer. You have to manually bed level this. Um, you can get, um, BL touches and stuff, but then you're getting, into another 59 bucks, you're getting upgraded. And, and so all my th Ender 3s are fully upgraded. They have new uh, firmware, they have new software, they have everything, and they, and, I, and they run really good, but they are still slow. They're slower than what's coming out nowadays. A modern printer is faster than these ones can print. Um, you can push the limits on this. You can, uh, it's a great beginner printer. It's a great place to start. I learned a ton of about 3D printing because of the Ender 3. Uh, but you can just simply go for not a little bit more. You can end up buying an Ender 3 V3KE, which is a bit better printer. Um, it allows you to, to have faster speeds. It's, it handles a faster speed. It has auto bed leveling. It levels itself. Um, it is a, a step up and it's not that much more. It's only $339. You take a jump. Uh, that's with it on sale right now for $80 off. This is Canadian prices. So in American, it's just going to be a lot cheaper. So when you save the prices, I'm pricing everything in Canadian. <coughs> so the question is, is that where you want to go? Even in the, this, this world of um, Creality, who up until now, I've been a big Creality person. I've got all Creality pr printers now, uh, except for the one I just bought. Um, but the, the reality is, is this the way you want to go? It is faster. It's better. It makes it easier. Life is, is easier under this. And they've, they've worked out a lot of the kinks and you're not having to, to upgrade a lot. Um, but then there's the very user friendly. If you don't want to have any tech issues, you don't want to be, um, doing things, you do it right off your phone. Then you, there's the, uh, Bamboo, Ban, Bamboo Labs. And if you want to get in cheap, uh, this is a smaller printer. Um, it does have, it's $319 Canadian, just under 200 in America. Um, you have the option of getting with the combo, which is 519, which is $200 more. And you can do multicolor prints. Uh, mostly when you're doing terrain, though, you're going to be painting the the train, so it doesn't matter the multicolor, um, but there's a lot of cool other things you can do with multicolor prints. And this bed is a little smaller, but the uh, heads are really easy to change, and 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 you can do everything from your cell phone, and it you know allows you to uh, work with the app really easy. Um, and that is three hundred nineteen dollars. You want to stay down that around that low price range. Um, there is also um, oh, that's getting a little higher. Uh, the $329 any cubic 3D printer Cobra Neon it's 250 milliliters it's a little slower than than the Bamboo Labs and the Ender 3 V3 KE um, but it is easy it's got 
auto bed leveling and right now it is 329 with a $70 discount. Um, so you're looking at basically uh, $260. Uh, and so the $260 price mark, that's a pretty good printer at that level. Um, I don't, I've never printed with this printer, but I know of a friend who does and it's a decent print. Now, or if you want to get a little more expensive, but it gives you a bit bigger bed size and the reliability of quick, easy, using your apps and different things. And, and this is the another Bamboo Labs. This is a newer one that just came out again. Um, it is $519 and that's uh, $519 Bamboo Lab A1. And this is a bit bigger print bed, but it's very user friendly. This is like basically uh, 15 minutes, pull out your STL file on your phone, drop it, load it, and you have a, um, great print. Now I'll tell you more about this printer later in one of my videos because I just purchased this printer and I don't know a lot about the final product yet, but I will be reviewing this and going over this printer. Uh, and then you got your Neptune 4 and this is a little bit more than the other ones, but a little bit less than the Bamboo Labs. And this one is got 500 millimeter speed, high speed, fast. It's got running clipper, which is uh, good as auto bed leveling, dual gears. Uh, this is a lot like the, um, this is kind of the in-between between the uh, Ender 3 and the Bamboo Labs. It's got a lot of the features of Bamboo Labs, but the um, some of the older software of the Ender. And so this is really a good beginner printer at $480 and they do go on sale. Sometimes I've seen it as low as $400. Um, and then there is a bit newer version, Creality K1C. This is kind of the flagship of Creality now. It's $700. And you can getting into Bamboo Labs, they have some around this range too at $760, uh, but they're fully enclosed. And so these are giving you a little bit faster yet even more and uh, allowing you to print more uh, products because they're fully enclosed. So those are some printers. Now, what am I recommending? My recommending is that you think about your budget. You gotta remember that there is filament on top of that. There's the files on top of that. So think what budget you want. Ender 3 is dirt cheap. If you want to try it, I would say buy a used one. You can probably get it for $150 Canadian, so $100 American um, from a used seller. And it's a good one to try. But if you know you like 3D printing, then you can look into and say, hey, I'm going to get something that's big enough that can do anything. Uh, you're looking for a bigger bed size. You're going to be looking for uh, faster printing and there are a lot of them out there right now. And so those are just some of the recommendations I have, uh, some printers that I've seen and used or have been involved with uh, and or my friends have. And so all of them I think are very well worthwhile. So my question though, my answer to the biggest question is, where do you start? Well, getting started in, in, in this process is you need to you need to have a chance you can even go to a library and try it if you don't want to purchase it right up front um, most libraries public libraries have an opportunity or schools have an opportunity for you to use their printer uh, for the cost of the filament and so maybe you need to just go out and try that get a file you can get it off thingiverse we'll talk more about that in a different video um, that you want to try and try it out and see if you like it then paint it and get used to it and then say okay this is something i want to do and if it is something you want to do you know, talk to your group and say, hey, uh, if nobody's printing terrain right now and you want to do it as a group, say, hey, hey, do you want to come together and buy a 3D printer together? Or maybe um, I'll buy their 3D printer, you buy the files and we'll print together. Or maybe you just say, I'm going to buy this and uh, I would, maybe you guys can ship in some filament. You know, it'd be easier than double, two people owning one. Um, the reality is, I think that you cannot go neglect the fact that um, 3D printing and uh, building terrain is part of the hobby of tabletop gaming. And so if you're getting to tabletop gaming, you're going to be getting into terrain. And so um, 3D printing makes it pretty easy to have pretty cool terrain. And another thing about having good terrain, it shows well when other people come 
And even if they're not into the game, they can they'll look and like, oh, that's so good to train. And eventually, they might be willing to get into the game. It's nothing like uh, having a great in, in, in environment for them to play on that allows people to say, hey, maybe I should get involved in this game. So it's a great way to start spreading the game uh, to other people. And so, yeah, I think that three D printing is part of this. And to begin with, when you get into it, you need to uh, think about your cost, set a budget. And once you've set a budget, look for a printer. And I don't, I don't recommend going to a kit printer. Um, there is enough good printers out there. Ender threes are cheap, but I don't recommend them in today's age because uh, the the speed of other printers, the user um, interfaces are better on other printers, and there's a less of a learning curve. Uh, that's the great thing about something like Bamboo Labs, and I'm I'm not saying that because I'm a huge fanboy of Bamboo Labs because I'm not um, yet, um, and uh, but it's so easy to use and easy to use makes a life of this hobby better. There's nothing like just pulling it off and be able to paint it right away and get it on the battlefield. Um, we already have a lot of things that we have to do, building models and painting them, and we want to make things our life as easy as possible to get playing the game more so it's not just a hobby of getting ready to play a game and never playing the game. And so uh, whenever you're playing, whatever you're playing Legion or your Warhammer or whatever, uh, the the goal in the end is not the train. The goal in the end is to be able to play the game. And so the train enhances playing the game. And so, yeah, I think it should be a part of it. Uh, the next video in this series, I'm going to I'm going to just cover some good places to get terrain um, and and the files so that you can just uh, have some easy, free, um, cheap and really cool options for 3D printing files. And so that's the next video. Uh, thank you for making it this far. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment to be entered into any of our draws. I really appreciate all you guys. We are uh, now over 1,100 subscribers, which is great. I never thought I would get there. Um, and I thank you for doing that. Now, I just need you guys to um, continue to watch and continue to be a part of this team. If you want to join this card, feel free to join the Discord where we show painting and we have questions for future videos and we also have an opportunity for you to win other prizes on the discord. And so thank you and may the force always be with you and have a good night.